But there is actually, there is one way to fix the clumping problem. And uh, let me just have a quick bit of mental arithmetic. Okay, if I did 11 here, and then 10, so I'm doing more mental arithmetic than normal. And then I'm gonna do nine there, I'm gonna do 16, 12, 13 over there, it's gonna be seven, that's gonna be 14. I've put sixes on everything. And so now this magic square uses the complete run of digits from seven through to 22. So that's like the opposite of having clumps. It's a consistent run, right? So it, it's bang on, nice and smooth. They go up very gradually. But yet, if you add the numbers together, 20 and seven is 27. Add, uh, we can do it slightly easier way. Add 13 is 50, uh, sorry, 40, 58. So that still adds to 58. In fact, all the rows still add to 58. The columns still add to 58. The diagonals are 58. Everything is still 58 that you gave me before, except now you don't get that unsightly clumping. And what did you use as your n minus instead of? So, okay, so the base magic square, everything of all of this is based on 34. 34 is the actual secret number because that's what you get if you put in our original grid. I'll do it one more time because I just love writing these numbers down. 34 starts at one and then goes all the way up and ends at 16. And so that is what we call the normal magic square, right? So it starts at one and then it, and then it counts up without missing any on the way. What I've done for this one here is I work out the difference between your number and 34, which in this case was 24, and then I work out how many fours go into that and what the remainder is. And you happen to pick a number, I got lucky, that it turns out is six times four, and so I knew if I put six onto every single one, it would go up and give me 58. If you'd given me a number that had a remainder, so if you were a slight jerk and said 50, nine, I would have gone, okay, the difference is 25, that's six times four, but with a remainder of one left over. And the remainder, you have to then go and put in those same positions as before, which slightly breaks the run. You don't then get a nice perfect run, but you have at worst a gap of three on the way up. And so you have a run with a jump of three somewhere, you still get a nice smooth distribution of numbers. And uh, no one would be foolish enough to uh, get that printed and shipped to them the moment the number was announced other than us. The shower lasted a very few minutes and was attended with thunder and lightning. I feel like I'm waiting for a twist here. At the moment it just sounds like your grandpa telling you about the weather. But... Uh, set the scene. Yeah. We're all